two 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 day I want to talk about Casper. And it has had some really surprising price action here recently. And it is related to HBAR. So we've had some announcements that Casper Labs was essentially turning into and acquired by IBM's Prove AI, which would have ended up as an extremely positive thing because I have been talking about how Casper's involvement with AI governance and its deep ties into IBM were turning it into an AI crypto dark horse. And I had talked a lot about Casper and IBM since about October of 2023 when we got the update that IP we was having problems. And here we have an update on Casper Labs rebrands to prove AI, which if you type in casperlabs.com, it now goes to prove AI, which there is a piece on this screen that I will be explaining more on he here in a bit. And Casper Labs has also changed their page on X to reflect that. I had been speculating that the Casper and IBM and even the IP we part, which had extreme connections into IBM and employees with Casper who had come from IBM too. And then all of a sudden, right after all of these positive things, we get told that Prove AI will not actually run on Casper anymore. They are changing it over to Hedera. So Casper essentially has no real ties into AI at this point in time. They do have ties into other enterprise applications, but because of all of the changes within the organization itself, I'm not really convinced that a lot of those existing projects and partnerships will actually hang on. Here is the announcement on the Casper network site, and it is in fact confirming that Casper Labs itself has changed over to Prove AI, and they are now creating that Prove AI product on Hedera and HBAR, which kind of makes sense in my mind in some ways, even though I thought Casper had some really good things at the network level that were able to position it extremely well for an application of this scale. But um, I think IBM saw what was happening with Casper, all of the transitions, the less than ideal leadership, and uh, they decided that if they were going to continue, then they wanted it not associated with Casper. So I am not holding anything against HBAR. Uh, in fact, I think it is one of the few enterprise DLT networks out there that has a ton of potential. And a lot of that is because the... Hedera network fees are not in terms of the token itself. They are held constant in terms of USD. So even if the price of HBAR goes up 100x, that does not mean that your fees increase. And here is a statement from the CTO, and it says that Casper doesn't want to be defined as an enterprise-only chain and believes in maximum decentralization, whereas Hedera is happy being enterprise only and is quasi centrally controlled by a bunch of large enterprises, which are all potential users of Prove AI. On top of that, Hedera made them a commercial offer that they could not refuse as a for-profit private organization. Now, I think this first part up here is that Casper doesn't want to be defined as an enterprise-only chain and believes in maximum decentralization. That has not been the case for a long time now. So I know that there are changes happening there, but that kind of a 
outlook and that kind of a public statement and that kind of an approach, that doesn't really make me feel very confident in where they are actually headed. This sounds like it's some kind of a idealistic kind of a mindset, but even more significant than that, it kind of gives me the impression that they don't really have anything happening now. So they're talking about decentralization being the utmost importance instead of going out and having proven, tangible, commercial, and enterprise applications, which is where you create value and you can bring that on chain to expand and to make the network and the products on the network more valuable, which is what it really is about in my own humble opinion. So I think that the public statement here has been not very inspiring. And it really makes a lot of sense because IBM has been heavily involved in Hedera for quite a while now. And they are tied into all kinds of huge organizations that are much more positioned to come in and get immediate adoption of Prove AI that goes right back into one of the Hedera Council anyway. So this is essentially just using your own product among your own people where they're still having to buy in and pay and it adds value into that product and then it can be expanded even more once it has been proven out. So for IBM and Prove AI, I think it's a smart choice, but it just shows how Casper truly has not been making things happen in a long-term way. And it's unfortunate because Prove AI has been minting NFTs on Casper. So it's not as if it didn't work. It's just that it appears as if they didn't have any confidence in the Casper team and the outlook of where the organization itself was actually headed.